Hello, karibu endelee kujifunza na katika somo hili tutaangalia makosa ya mara kwa mara au makosa ya kawaida linapokuja swala la matumizi ya neno can pamoja na neno should. Katika somo hili tutaangalia makosa matatu kwa upande wa can na usahihi wake lakini pia tutaangalia makosa matatu kwa upande wa should pamoja na usahihi wake. Kwa hiyo kuna sentensi sita ambazo ni sahihi na sentensi sita ambazo si sahihi ambapo kwa upande wa can kuna sentensi tatu sahihi na tatu ambazo si sahihi lakini kwa should kuna sentensi tatu sahihi na tatu zisizo sahihi. Kutunde hatua kwa hatua tuangalie makosa haya ni yapi. Na hapa kuna maneno haya mawili common mistakes. Common mistakes inamaanisha makosa ya mara kwa mara au makosa yanayojirudia rudia au kwa namna nyingine makosa ya kawaida. Twende katika mfano wa kwanza example 1 you can to go. Kuna watu wanasema you can to go akiwa anataka kumaanisha unaweza kwenda. Kwa sababu you can inamaanisha unaweza. You can to go mtu hapa anakuwa anataka kusema unaweza kwenda. Lakini matumizi sahihi ya hili neno ni kutoongeza neno tu mbele kabla ya kuweka kitendo kingine. Kwa hiyo namna sahihi ya kusema sentence kama hii ni you can go. You can go. Unaweza kwenda. You can go. Kwa hiyo unapotumia can hautaweka neno tu bali utaweka neno can kisha utaweka kitendo unachotaka kukizungumzia. Kwa mfano hapa tumeona you can go unaweza kwenda I can help you ninaweza kukusaidia wewe. Kwa hiyo tunaona kwamba sio I can to help you ila ni I can help you. Kwa hiyo zingatia hapo kwa sababu ni mara nyingi sana nimekuwa nikikutana na watu ambao huandika hili neno wakiongeza neno tu. Twende kwa upande wa kosa lingine ambalo watu pia hufanya. Hapa sasa nimeunganisha makosa mawili kwa wakati mmoja katika sentence ya pili. Sentence number two. You can't not to see me this morning. You can't not to see me this morning. Ambapo hapa mtu anakuwa anataka kusema huwezi kuniona asubuhi hii. Huwezi kuniona asubuhi hii. Lakini namna sahihi ya kusema sentence hii ni you can't see me this morning you can't see me this morning inamaanisha uwezi kuniona asubuhi hii kwa hiyo unaposema can't he can't ambayo ndio hii hapa ni ufupisho wa cannot cannot kwa hiyo you cannot inamaanisha huwezi au you can't inamaanisha huwezi kwa hiyo hili neno not halipo ukishasema tu you can't tayari inamaanisha huwezi lakini kama utakumbuka nimesema can haiendi pamoja na tu vile vile can't haiendi na tu kwa hiyo inakuwa ni you can't kisha unaweka kitendo unachotaka kuzungumzia na maelezo mengine yanayofuata kama hapa you can't kisha kitendo ambacho unazungumzia ambacho ni see na maelezo mengine huko mbele you can't see me this morning you can't see me this morning uwezi kuniona asubuhi hii twende katika sehemu nyingine ambapo sasa hili ni kosa linalofanyika kwa upande wa kuuliza swali kwa kutumia neno can kuna mtu anaweza kaandika kama hivi do you can help me do you can help me akiwa anataka kumaanisha unaweza kunisaidia unaweza kunisaidia lakini unapouliza swali kwa kutumia neno can hautumii hii do kuulizia swali bali neno hili hili ndilo hutumika kuuliza swali na unalitanguliza hapa kisha unafuatisha kiwakilishi jina au majina ndipo unafuatisha maelezo mengine kwa hiyo do you can help me usahihi wake ni can you help me can you help me unaweza kunisaidia can you help me unaweza kunisaidia na hapa vile vile unaweza kubadilisha iki kiwakilishi na kuweka vitu vingine tofauti tofauti kwa mfano can john help me john anaweza kunisaidia can your friends help me marafiki zako wanaweza kunisaidia na kadhalika lakini uepuke kutumia do you can badala yake tumia can you Twende katika sehemu nyingine sasa hapa tunaangalia makosa ya should yanaelekeana vile vile na makosa ya can Kwa mfano mtu anaweza kaandika au akasema you should to buy this car you should to buy this car Lakini si sahihi kwa sababu unapotumia should kama unavyofanya kwa can hauongezi tu 
unaweka should kesho unaweka kitendo unachotaka kukizungumzia na maelezo mengine yanafuata kwa hiyo badala kusema you should buy this car unatakiwa kusema you should buy this car you should buy this car inaomaanisha unapaswa au unatakiwa kununua hili gari unapaswa au unatakiwa kununua hili gari kwa hiyo epuka kuongeza hili neno tu bali tumia kiwakilishi jina au majina weka should kisha weka kitendo unachotaka kuzungumzia ndipo ufuatishe maelezo mengine yatakayokuwa yanahitajika twende kwa mfano mwingine sasa tuangalie kosa lingine kwa upande wa should example 5 hiyo katika number 5 tunaona you shouldn't to buy this car you shouldn't to buy this car hapa mtu anakuwa anataka kusema hupaswi kununua hili gari hupaswi au hutakiwi kununua hili gari lakini vile vile kama ilivyo kwa kwa should shouldn't pia haongezi neno tu badala yake unaiondoa hii tu na unapata sentence kama hii you shouldn't buy this car you shouldn't buy this car hupaswi au hutakiwi kununua hili gari hupaswi au hutakiwi kununua hili gari lakini pia kumbuka shouldn't ni kifupi cha should not kwa hiyo hapa pia ongeza kusema hapa ambapo ni sahihi ongeza kusema you should not buy this car you should not buy this car hupaswi kununua hili gari kwa hiyo hii inakupa mwongozo wa vile ambavyo unaweza ukafanya hata kwa viwakilishi vingine una majina kwa mfano John shouldn't buy this car John hapaswi kununua hili gari your friends shouldn't buy this car marafiki zako hawapaswi kununua hili gari na kadhalika au kama utamtumia should not itakuwa John should not buy this car kwa mfano John should not buy this car John hapaswi kununua hili gari your friends should not buy this car marafiki zako hawapaswi kununua hili gari Twende kwa upande wa kuuliza swali kwa kutumia should. Makosa haya yanaelekeana na yale ya can. Kwa hiyo utakuwa unazingatia kwamba can na should yanatumika kwa namna inayofanana japo maana zake ni tofauti. Kwa hiyo kosa kama lilofanyika kwenye can mtu anaweza kauliza swali kwa mtindo huu. Do I should come there? Do I should come there? Akiwa na maanisha ninapaswa kuja huko au ninatakiwa kuja huko lakini namna sahihi ni kutotumia do unapouliza swali bali kutumia neno should unapouliza swali na kulitanguliza hapa ikawa should kiwakilishi jina au majina kisha kafuata kitendo na maelezo mengine yanayotakiwa katika hilo swali yakafuata kwa hiyo swali hili usahihi wake ni should i come there should i come there Ninapaswa kuja huko au ninatakiwa kuja huko? Should I come there? Na hii ni mwongozo tu. Kwa hiyo hapo unaweza kutoa I na kuweka vitend, uh, na kuweka viwakilishi vingine au kuweka jina. Kwa mfano, should John come there? John anapaswa kuja huko. Should my friend come there? Rafiki yangu anapaswa kuja huko. Should we come there? Tunapaswa kuja huko. Should they come there? Wanapaswa kuja huko na kadhalika. Kwa hiyo hii ni mwongozo tu lakini utazingatia kutumia should na can kwa namna niliyoelekeza hapa katika viwakilishi vingine vyote lakini pia katika majina mengine yote na uzuri ni kwamba should pamoja na can haya maneno yanatumika vile vile kwa majina yote katika umoja na wingi lakini pia yanatumika vile vile kwa viwakilishi vyote katika umoja na wingi kwa mfano should itatumika na i sawa sawa na ambavyo inaweza kutumika pamoja na he she it we they na kadhalika. Kwa baada ya kuyaona maelezo haya yote nirudi tena mwanzo nisome hii sentence nitakuwa naanza na sentence ambayo si sahihi kisha nasoma sentence yake sahihi na wewe fuatilia ili ujikumbushe na kuna kama unaweza ukakumbuka ipi kati ya hizi mbili ni sahihi. Hasa nitakuwa nikisema wrong inamaanisha si sahihi nikisema right inamaanisha sahihi. Kwa nitakuwa nasoma sentence ya kwanza nasema wrong inamaanisha si sahihi. Nikisoma sentence ya pili nasema right inamaanisha sahihi. Number one, you can to go home. Wrong. You can go home. Right. Number two, you can't not to see me this morning. You can't not to see me this morning. Wrong. You can't see me this morning. Right. You can't see me this morning, right? Number three. Do you can help me? 
do you can help me wrong can you help me right number four you should to buy this car you should to buy this car wrong you should buy this car right number five you shouldn't to buy this car you shouldn't buy this car wrong you shouldn't buy this car right shouldn't equals should not number six do I should come there do I should come there wrong should I come there right Ikiwa unahitaji kupata somo lingine leo katika mfululizo wa masomo ya Kiingereza cha kuongea utaenda YouTube sehemu ya kutafuta video kisha utaandika kwa mfano somo la kwanza Kiingereza cha kuongea ikiwa unatafuta somo la kwanza lakini kwa mfano kama unataka somo la kumi, utaandika somo la kumi Kiingereza cha kuongea na kadhalika kwa utakuwa unabadilisha ile namba ya somo tu lakini maneno yote unatumia hayo hayo ili kupata somo tofauti